we're starting to approach the new frontier of battery research that could do so much more than lithium ion batteries can do today. The possibilities are incredible, said NASA's head engineer. From the numbers we've seen in the past month, showing electrification hitting insane records in Europe and China, growth that's truly beyond everyone's expectations of 170% in numerous European countries and nearly 100% in China year over year, we now know that the entire automotive industry is going electric. That much is guaranteed, it's certain. What we don't know is what's gonna to happen to aeroplanes, but NASA, they claim they do. In fact, NASA has a new battery technology, which I've reported on in the past, that it says it's getting close to commercializing. This new battery, will revolutionize the air industry. I mean, it will revolutionize flying. Now, today, when you're in an airplane, it's very loud at the back. And the key reason is those engines and motors. You can hear them from the back of the airplane. And it's super, super loud. And airplanes use insane amounts of fuel, incredible amounts. When an airplane crashes, the general reason of why everyone dies is because those petrol tanks explode, the entire plane goes up in flames. But NASA's new battery technology will be able to overcome the limitations of today's batteries. Today's batteries don't have enough energy density to enable airplanes to get off the ground and fly for long enough. NASA's technology claims that's about to change. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the electric Mikey. To be fair, NASA's space flight, um, it's pretty terrible. Uh, yes, it's all right, but the truth is, if you compare the cost of a NASA space flight versus something like SpaceX, it's a bit of a joke, and NASA have admitted that much themselves. We all think of NASA as a space agency, and the truth is, yeah, they are in a way, but the best NASA innovations of the past 10 years have almost nothing to do with rockets, a lot more to do with other technologies. This, I believe, is one of them. A new solid state sulfur selenium battery developed by NASA could revolutionize air travel by powering planes with electricity instead of gasoline. And considering what we've seen in many countries this year, which is free electricity at many times of the day and the month because there is too many renewables in many countries, that's a sign of what will happen in the future. Eventually, it will be free in almost every country around the world during the middle of the day to charge whatever you want, whether that's an airplane or anything else, because at many points of the day now, governments are going around and turning off renewable energy because there's simply too much energy going into the grid. Now, where does all that energy go? Nowhere, it's simply waste. But imagine having an entire airplane fleet at your airport charging off basically almost free renewable energy, not having to turn off the power from the grid, but being able to actually keep it on. And this will massively decrease the cost of air travel. Airplanes require a lot of fuel to get up in the air and stay in the air. While they're flying, they release a huge variety of harmful pollutants into the air. The Environmental Protection Agency estimates that commercial air travel accounts for an incredible 10% of US transportation emissions and 3% of the nation's total greenhouse gas emissions. As you can see, a disproportionate amount based on the amount of people that use airplanes, which is, you know, it's big, but it's nothing compared to the amount of people that drive. 10% of emissions is quite extreme. Electric airplanes, of course, do exist. In fact, they're used right now in Africa, in quite a number of places, and have been for years now, but only small ones. Electric airplanes can't fly as fast for as long as planes powered with traditional combustion engines. But that is set to change very soon. The unfortunate fact is that electric batteries aren't as energy dense as they needed to be for airplanes to be able to really make sense. They don't store as much energy per pound as gasoline does. However, an airplane needs a battery with an energy density of around 800 watt hours per kilogram. That's around 363 watt hours per pound to get off the ground. Until recently, the best batteries had an energy density of around 260 to 270 watt hours per kilogram, around 113 to 120 watt hours per pound, not quite enough to make electric aeroplanes actually feasible. Most of today's electric vehicles use lithium ion batteries. Of course, some are now starting to use sodium. In spite of the fact that lithium ion battery 
energy density has been improving and so has their ability to withstand high temperatures. They still can't provide large airplanes with the energy they need to get off the ground for long enough. The other thing to keep in mind is having a liquid electrolyte means that if your airplane was to crash, then that electrolyte would most likely explode in a very, very similar way to what you see happen when a gasoline powered airplane crashes and explodes. However, NASA says no more. This, is, this, this needs to change. For years now, NASA's solid state architecture batteries for enhanced rechargeability and safety or SABERS, S-A-B-E-R-S project has been working on developing a battery with the power and efficiency to power commercial airliner. Solid state batteries are rechargeable batteries that maintain their solid structure even when damaged, almost eliminating the risk of fire. What this means is if you're an airplane using a NASA solid state battery, which you will be at some point in the next decade, then there's a much higher chance of you surviving if your airplane crashed, a much higher chance. NASA's new sulfur selenium prototype battery is not only safer than lithium ion batteries, in fact, much safer, it's also more powerful. As prototype battery from NASA has an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilo or about 227 watt hours per pound, double the energy density of conventional lithium ion battery. That said, there's actually some competitors to NASA who have their own 500 watt hour per kilogram energy density batteries. So it's not as though NASA is the only company working on it. In fact, Numerous companies believe that we will have solved electric aviation completely by the end of this decade, ending the massive emissions and, of course, the safety problems of airplanes, commercial gasoline-powered airplanes. Airplanes, of course, require insane amounts of energy. Even if a battery can store the energy an airplane requires, it has to be able to discharge the energy quickly enough to allow liftoff. NASA says that its sulfur-selenium battery discharges energy at 10 times faster speeds than other solid state batteries. And that's the key difference between NASA's battery of 500 watts per kilogram and other 500 watt per kilogram batteries. The ability to discharge massive amounts of energy in a very short period of time. This energy release can cause temperatures to spike though. But researchers have found that this sulfur selenium battery can withstand temperatures twice as hot as those that lithium ion batteries can withstand. The team also made their batteries 40% lighter than they were before the research began. Smaller batteries that are lighter mean more batteries and therefore more fuel can fit on one plane, improving the fuel capacity of an electric airplane. Now, all the same principles here apply to any form of transport. For example, if you put one of NASA's solid state batteries into say an electric car, you could potentially get 2,000 kilometers of range. We're starting to approach the new frontier of battery research. They could do so much more than lithium batteries can. Rocco Vigiano, Principal Investigator for Savers at NASA's Glenn Research Center in Cleveland said in a press release last year, the possibilities are incredible. It will be a long time before we see these batteries powering planes. But how long are we talking about here? Well, many experts believe that this will happen within this decade. Solid state batteries are, at this point in time, costly to produce. Any new airplane component to be used on commercial flights must undergo lots of testing before approval. Still, this advancement is exciting and it shows you the future of airplane travel. It's not gasoline-based, definitely coming in the form of electrification. Will NASA be a big part of that future? I think realistically it will. It sounds as though this technology is the real deal. And the key question here is not really so much a matter of will it exist? It's more a matter of when will it exist? Either way, my friends, the future of electric transportation is just blowing my mind. Things are changing at the most incredible pace. It's the most interesting, fascinating, and exciting time to be alive, in my opinion, in history. If someone said to you now, when would you go back in time? What would be the best era to be alive and live? I would say, don't. It's now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.